Hello guys, it's me back with Dark Souls 3, continuing right where we left off. Things going to go down, probably kill a few fools who thought that their mortal selves could survive uh, bones. No one survives bones, that's why everybody dies. Just cause the bones poison you slowly. But surely, where the heck are my souls? I just took a wrong turn. Boom. Dodge. Oh god, great, my souls are up here. It's like the last place I wanted them. Oh yeah, this thing while you're chasing it usually falls straight out of the map. See? And then it dies and you get its items anyways. Ah, that's hoping you wouldn't see me. But you fool! You have messed with the wrong person today! Ah, crap. Oh yeah, that's right, the blood uh, ring. I don't know if it increases any other stats. But it decreases your defense, but makes it so you're more immortal longer. If that makes sense? But only during uh, rolling. So if you're good at rolling, kids, then that's a thing for you, because... Yeah. Oh, and if you don't want to fight all the skeletons and whatnot that spawn, you can just destroy the little bridge there and turn it into a ladder. But first, let me fight a certain mini boss dude that spawns here. He should spawn here. There we are. Dora. Oh, I think I made him mad. Oh no. Now he's a night slayer, so if you're a mage, obviously he can't hurt you. No. Because you're a mage, sucker. Oh wait, that's right, bridge. Follow me! You chicken? Ha! Huh. You shall not pass in time, I hope. And yeah, that's how you kill him. And also get that emote. stuff I'm going to have to go down there now actually what's the point of the sludge <laughs> well, either way I'm not going to kill the person there yet cuz first must help Anri find Horus if you catch my drift. Oh yeah, by the way, there's a fire demon down here and uh, he can kill you. But an easy way to deal with him is not get hit for one. You don't want to do that. But get him up here. 
probably just breathe at you for a large chunk of time before he attempts going at you. Looks he's a chicken. Oh crap. Let's see, he's still breathing at me. And what you want to do once he's up here is have him keep chasing you or don't but you see this chest here you punch it in the face because it's actually a mimic let me get this thing to run up and let the mimic do the rest because it can't go through there and the mimic's angry because it got woken up so it's going to start kicking the demon's butt It's actually half and half on who's going to win, but I guess the demon didn't want to fight back today, so want to know who wins now? Oh, jeez, the mimic. Oh, that's right. This mimic also does a butt ton of damage, so uh, watch out. Because if you don't, you're dead. <laughs> just watching that thing pass by is just so fun. Okay, good. I had enough health. I would have been a little bit mad if that killed me, but good to know now than ever, right? So again, you just go over here. The bridge that's falling apart, you just simply destroy. And then you see those like a billions of skeletons coming at you. Easy souls. It's not a lot, but it will get you by. Sniff, sniff. I wonder how vulnerable mimics are to bleeding. I've never tested that out, to be honest. But you know what, guys? Today's a special day. Because the mimic killed the demon. You know what? First I do this. So I can grab the item. There we go. Black blade. And then I stab it a whole bunch because it's... Huh. It's not really all that crap. now. I just needed to hit it one more time and I missed it because of the wall. <laughs> That's very embarrassing. Spawn, you dirty rascals. There you go. I almost fell off.
Oh, and for the noobs who don't know how to get down those faster, basically just hold circle. Okay. I got the item in there, so there's no need to really kill it anyways. He did us a good honor. Oh yeah, also a crap ton of skeleton spawn here too. I remember I would skip past the little demon dude, pick up all the skeletons, and just fight the demon with the skeletons. And then sometimes I'd also get the chest in too. So, just to mess with the chest a little. Boop, boop. And now you have to fight all the skeletons, so good luck, chest. Never mind, guess you don't have to fight all the skeletons. Crap! Ah. Right here's the witch's ring and old sage's uh, thing. The pet's thing. Oh, Larry, your shoe's untied. Let me help you with that. Oh, jeez. Ultra spinning attack of death. Boom. And then extra butt stab. Cause they're all butts. Also, believe it or not, but this spot's actually a pretty decent spot for raiding. Because, unless if they've already taken care of the giant arrows that come at you, there will be giant arrows, a giant snake thing over there, and I, I heard crabs, which I believe are like way back. Excuse me, ow. But I believe the crabs are like way back there, so if that somehow happens... reason we're down here isn't for any of that. Well, we're here to fight the boss and maybe get rid of the giant thing there. Oh, well, we could also try and kill the giant snake thing, too. Anyways, you're going to have two lizards down here. Larry and Jerry. And if you have a friend helping you out, they won't be able to help out with this next part. But Horse has gone hollow, sadly. And it's your job to put him out of his misery. The reason he went down here without Henry knowing, though, is so that you didn't kill her. Or him, if your character's female playing. Horse is dead. Boop. Rip horse. Get his shield, which I usually put like a little miracle thing on and just have it on my back. So while I'm fighting, I regen health. And uh, now that he's dead, usually want to return to the bonfire, go to Anne, tell her about it. I'm going to try and attempt to fight the boss real quick. And I'm probably going to fail on my first try too, so... Actually, there's a pretty decent chance I won't even reach the boss. And that's one of the reasons. So before I try that, 
going up to the shrine by the fire. The boss down there is only optional, but get you some pretty decent stuff like I believe it's the strongest pyromancy that there is in the game so far oh hi hello again I have since heard a gr for one that I too am bound by I hear that cordial intrusion if I can be of help blessing of the moon if you thank you so now that you've done all that she'll give you that and this and dude over here the lords of sin so that's how <laughs> She gives you the fair and ring. She gives you the dark moon loyalty, which is the best. Uh, sorry about that. Which is the best uh, emote in the game, except for maybe praise the sun. But I still like this one better. Let's see how many times I can level up. Okay, five times. So one, two. Three, four, five. Okay. No. Okay. Um. There we go. Oh yeah. Also, I forgot to give her this. Much like what lies, then let it find its own. She will understand. Forget. There we go. She will ask her sister for forgiveness because she's sad like that. Oh, and in one piece. Embers. Anyways, on to the catacombs of Carthus again. Going to talk to Anri and end the episode before we fight the boss. So if you just want to skip to the boss because you know what's happening with Anri or you don't care, then... Yeah. Ah, crap, it's behind me. Wait. It's slower than I... Oh, come on, it still hit me. Obviously it's not a safe zone if it still got me. Crap ton of skeletons pop up. It's kind of like after you won the lottery, suddenly all your c distant cousins will appear and it's like, oh, I didn't even know you existed, but I guess I owe you now. And then you owe them for not existing in your life to a. That's how people go broke. Yeet. Hi. Oh, have you seen? Now you can say nothing. She'll just randomly go to a different area after she dies if you save her. But if you save her, she'll also go to mourn Horus as she hollows. She gives you Ring of the Evil Eye, which is when you kill monsters, you get health back. But. Horse is just down there, and she didn't know. You can also return later too, and she will have made a grave for him. Oh, that's going to be it for today's episode. Goodbye.